this is the last piece just finish just finish cutting the last piece for my cushion well the last pieces for my cushion so all i need to do is sew them up and i am done oh my god finally Whew. it is one o'clock right now and i am working well i was working on the last cushion piece and this machine decided to keep on jamming up i googled all the solutions i re-thread it reassemble everything and i just keep on jamming up i took a break and i came back and tried to fix it and it's still jamming up and i'm getting really frustrated because this is my last piece and i'm done with sewing which have been taking me way longer than it should so hopefully this is fixed soon and i guess it's gonna delay another day so tomorrow i'll wake up i'm gonna be fresh i'm gonna be clear-minded and try to go at it so i'm like a little less frustrated and hopefully that will work out because yeah i think right now being really frustrated also doesn't really help good night and it's fixed i fixed it i don't even know exactly why i did i just took everything apart not every day but i just took this apart and cleaned it and now it's working i'm almost done like i'm almost done right i only have this much thread left and this is empty so hopefully i can even them out and um And it'll work out because I don't want to go to the store. It's coronavirus out there. This is how much hair I'm losing, guys. How? Why? Why am I losing so much hair? I am officially done with sewing. <laughs> final cover is finally done and now i am going to oh, now i am going to split this middle backboard i'm gonna split in the middle so the reason why i'm splitting in the middle is because when i open this up and when i grab you know grab things I have nowhere really to set it down. Oh my god, there's a huge bee! No, it's not a bee. That's a freaking fly. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm going. So I'm gonna take the hinge out, and hopefully I can put it exactly back in place because this go exactly over here so if i misplace like misposition it it's not gonna go in and yeah so i'm gonna split it right in the middle and then i'm also gonna split the table board that's gonna come out yeah so this should come out and then there should be a table yeah good thing that is my to-do list today and if I finish that, I need to finish editing the videos because I've been uh, procrastinating on that. I'm sorry. Um, I, I need to find a way to increase my prod productivity. 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 Yeah, I need to find a way to increase my pro productivity. Learn 
faster way to edit videos and just like I guess not nitpick everything because when I nitpick that's when I spend the most time um and I guess that demotivate me to keep on doing it because of how long it will take um and I need to get better at like a filming because sometimes I will forget to film and when I edit stuff together things wouldn't make sense I'm like oh wait I totally did not explain what the heck is going on it's like sorry guys and then so I'm like should I delete it or like I, I don't know but I'll figure it out but now I'm rambling again and I should get this done so let's see so here I am taking all the screws out and using a circular saw to cut it in half sanding it and putting a top coat on it so I got these cutting half that's the other piece and I top coated now they're dry and then I'm gonna use this to cut the piano hinge in half first I need to measure where I'm gonna cut I'm screwing the screw back on and the board thank god everything fits perfectly and I am trying out this hinge and I'm just googling and googling and googling and it's not working out <sighs> I am putting this hinge and the force I got or I don't know I don't really understand it, but this supports 39 pounds and it is way too, way too strong for my, this thing, this cardboard, not cardboard, board thing. So I'm gonna return it to the UPS store and order a new one. And I realized most of the time, I'm just like waiting for the shipment and when they come it doesn't work out I had to return it and buy another one um, or I go to the store and only buying the thing that I need now and then later when I need something else I go to the store again so I probably ordered and returned more than 10 times and I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and whatever store for maybe about 30 times maybe more I need to be more efficient the hinge arrived surprisingly quick the next day and I was able to finish my back table my, pre my previous Prius um, my window cover always had a yeah I was having trouble finding a home for my window covers so that is one of the design that I put into this car is to have a specific place to store my window covers and this is why I chose to put net up here but this is um 550 core i can make a video about this later on how i made it but this is a 550 core and it's not as elastic um so i don't know how how it will fit um if it doesn't fit well then i will debate if i should exchange it for elastic I don't want to think about that right now because I will just be procrastinating. Um, yeah. Alright, I finished cutting the panels. Um, and then I tape one side together so they're able to move. And then I tape the other side. So, ah. So it's tape one side, tape the other side so you're able to fold it. 
Ta da! And now I'm gonna cut it. I cut the window cover using a razor blade and tracing the edges. So I did the same thing to the other side with a black fabric and and then I left a little gap at the end so I can fold over and then stitch it which turns out like this you can see I bought a fabric waterproof protectant and it turned out yellow it came out yellow so it looked kind of disgusting um i don't know how i'm gonna fix it but i'm not gonna worry about this right now now just sewing away it feels so amazing to have a window cover um yeah, I don't know. Before, I always um, was like, yeah, I don't really care if people look at me. But now I was like, wow, this actually feels more like a home. But I don't know. Before, I'm like, eh, people look at me, whatever. I was just sleep. But now I was like, whoa, this is nice. This is actually really nice. Yeah, and I realized I have... I still have a lot of stuff, and I don't know how to get rid of it. It's more like I need to figure out what I really need and what I need to get rid of and figure out what section should be like for what category and all of that and set up like a good system for my house. Um, so far, yeah, I feel a little cluttered. Everything seems like it's out of place and disorganized. I have more stuff than I need to be. And the car seems small, but I know it's not small. It's just that I have too much stuff. I have a lot of blankets, clothes. I need to get rid of some of the clothes. I know my dad's a hoarder, so I kind of grew up learning from my dad. And I need to just let that shit go just let it go and uh, it will be good and uh, i'm gonna sleep now with my window covers um the front one i'm gonna pick up tomorrow at amazon locker it's so nice to have amazon locker like so nice because I technically don't really have an address. Technically.